School of Science and Computing, and Dr. Eugene McCarthy, Head of Department of Analytical, Biopharmaceutical and Medical Sciences. Iremir Dr. Michael Hannan, Cian Clóiste Quinn on Service Brunta at Oscult. I call upon Dr. Michael Hannan, Head of College, Galway Mayo, to open the conferring ceremony. Vera Cahernagalva, Rave Kemi, Agwin Usla, the Fajro of Galair, Kuji and Okaj, special to show. Your Worship, the Mayor of the City of Galway, Councillor Claude Higgins, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, soon to be graduates. It is a pleasure and an honour for me as head of the Galway Mayo College and Registrar to welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I congratulate each and every one of you on reaching this important milestone in your career. I want to welcome you, your friends, and your families to this graduation ceremony of the Galway Mayo College. Due to our increased scale as a university, November is now our graduation month. We started in Donegal at the beginning of the month, then moved to Sligo. We were in Letter Frack last Friday, and we are here in Galway for three days. Over the course of the month, approximately 5,000 graduates will be conferred across our eight campuses. I remember when I was approximately your age, I attended a conference where Professor John Coolhan of Minute University, now deceased, was the keynote speaker. During his address, he was attempting to predict the future and changes we could expect in education, if not the world. But he made one remarkable statement that remained with me ever since when he said, change is the new constant. It was my first time hearing it and I thought, what a paradox. How could something that changes be a constant? But of course he was right when you reflect and analyze the statement. So much change is happening, it is, it is ever present. So it is absolutely right to refer to change as a constant. You too are experiencing that change phenomenon. You walked in here today as graduates, and you'll be walking out as graduates within an hour. If we go back three to four years, you applied for and accepted a program in GMIT, and here you are today getting your award from the ATU. The creation of technological universities provides a major opportunity for a fundamental reevaluation within the Irish education system and Irish society of the role and value of core technologically based professional skills and qualifications to meet the demands and opportunities of the future world of work. The quality of your university award will serve you well as you scope out your own individual and unique futures. Fundamentally, the value of your award confirms your ability to embrace change. It is highly probable that you will not retire into the position that you start out in. Indeed, research indicates that you will not even be in the same sector. In the School of Science and Computing, the number of postgraduate programs, including research and students, continues to grow as evidenced by the numbers graduating here today. Researchers in the school are working in areas that are extremely relevant to today's world, including the many aspects of the environment, human health and aging, food, medical technology, biotechnology, including vaccine development, data analytics and advanced laboratory methods. It is important to have influential research leaders within our community. And as an example, just last week, Dr. Ian O'Connor was one of 35 academics from Ireland mentioned in the Global High Sighted Researchers List, which represents about the top 1% of academics worldwide. The importance of new approaches to teaching and learning, especially during and coming out of the pandemic, has led to a number of national and international awards. To mention just three, we have the European Award for Food Entrepreneurship Education, National Forum's Disciplinary Excellence in Learning, Teaching and Assessment Award for the School Chemistry Team, and an International Learning Technology Award for the design of e-portfolios for medical science students. The university continues to invest in the school so that it can realize its ambition and seven new laboratories for teaching and research 
are planned for commissioning in 2023. And that is to meet the continued demand for science programmes. And we also note that construction on the STEM building is also due to commence later in 2023. Speaking of laboratories, during the summer, the school attained the International Green Lab certification for all of its undergraduate science teaching laboratories. My Green Labs is recognized by the United Nations Race to Zero campaign and is considered the gold standard for laboratory sustainability. ATU is the first university in Ireland to receive this accolade for a full suite of laboratories on a single campus in Galway City. This is a great example of commitment from staff and students to take real practical steps to work in a sustainable way and literally practice what we preach. The initiatives I refer to are only possible with the support of professional and committed staff. And I want to acknowledge the staff in this school for your commitment and dedication to your students and to your university and our university. Graduates and alumni frequently tell us, and I have no reason to doubt, that what makes GMIT and now the ATU unique is the staff student experience. I love hearing that because this is the message we too believe and we will work hard to ensure that the ATU also develops a reputation as a student-centered organization and I am confident that it will. Finally, back to you the graduates. Congratulations once again on your individual achievements and in addition to wishing you all a really enjoyable day, I want to wish you enough because more than that, you don't need. Gramil Mahagd. Iremir Mor McNally, Kahir Lock on board Shoraha, Falcha Aquira Rove. I call upon the chairperson of the governing body, Maura McNally, to make the address. Today the address is a pre-recording as Maura McNally is able to join us in person. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2022. My name is Maura McNally and I am chair of the Atlantic Technological University. And on my own behalf, but also on behalf of the entire board, on behalf of all of the staff, and on behalf of all persons associated with the Atlantic Technological University, we extend to you our heartfelt congratulations. This is an historic day. You are an, an historic class. You are the first class of graduates from this university. You can now take that parchment that you have worked hard for, the blood, sweat and tears of your family and friends, I should add, all has come to this day where you receive your parchment from a university and you are university graduates. You are also now the flag bearers, flag bearers for yourselves, flag bearers for your classmates, flag bearers for your university. You are now the alumni of a university. You can now take that parchment, use that education. You can now help yourself. You can now help your community. You can now help your region because that is the secret behind the Atlantic Technological University. Its aim is to see each person improve him or herself, regardless of age, race, color, creed, or beliefs. This is about education. This is university education. We aim for universal education of the persons in this region. And with that in mind, we are so proud to be here to celebrate with you and to extend our gratitude to you as well. Gratitude for choosing this university. Gratitude that you and your families have worked hard to achieve this particular day. And gratitude that you are now in a position to place this university on the map. This parchment is not only a recognition of your hard work, but it's also a recognition of your abilities and of your capacity. This parchment from this university will hopefully open doors for you. It will be like a rising tide. It will lift all boats. As it lifts you, it lifts your belief in yourself, 
in your community, in your region. The world is now your oyster. You are the beneficiary of a university education. Grasp that opportunity with both hands. Use that opportunity. Do what you can for yourself and for your alumni and your university. Take your place in society. As our first alumni, as our historic class, as I say, you are the flag bearers. We will be looking to you to now be the future of this region, to be the future of this university, to give feedback to this university, to engage as proper alumni. Fulfill your dreams, fulfill your opportunities. Take this graduation, take this parchment, and have fun. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairperson. Anish Aramir, Dr. Orla Flynn, Uptaran and Ulskull Technolyakta on Atlantic, Gradham Abrana, Erna Foglamori, Athar Kura, Elahar, Egulskull Technolyakta on Atlantic. The Vua and Udarash, Athar Dilshaha, and Ulskull Technolyakta on Atlantic. Brunum Lesh a doctony or Nafalamori of Wintermach and Kaidon, the Nadoctonishin, Agus Irum, Gugwir for Nafalamorishin, Nilarakum, Kungam Runigme, Abarchim or Hu Gafurimul. By virtue of the authority vested in Atlantic Technological University, I hereby confer awards on the learners who have achieved the standard determined for those awards, and I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchment. I ukter on Kuramilo Horkuit, Nahiro Hori Shahalanis, I will a Durhi Scrut at Lachta, Agus de Vactini, a Glavela She, a Shacht, a Hot, a Ne, Agus a Je, then Krakna Shun to Kilakthi of a Kadaha, a Kurla Akadul, Ulskull Technoliot, an Atlantic. President, I present to you the following candidates whose examination results have been adopted and awards at levels six, seven, eight, nine, and ten of the National Framework of Qualifications have been approved by the Atlantic Technological University Academic Council. And Dr. Eugene McCarthy, Head of Department of Analytical, Biopharmaceutical and Medical Sciences to present the candidates from this department. Higher Certificate in Science in Applied Biology and Biopharmaceutical Science, Ryan Lloyd, in absentia. Bachelor of Science in Applied Biology and Biopharmaceutical Science, Evan Adetunji, in absentia. Jamie Byrne, Nina Curley in absentia, Marlena Ezevor in absentia, Helen Geraghty in absentia, Siam Gulzar in absentia, Joseph Lumney in absentia, Joanne Lynch, Lorraine McLaughlin in absentia, Matthew Murphy, Christopher Smith, in absentia, Bachelor of Science Honours in Applied Biology and Biopharmaceutical Science, Mahrouk Afsal,
Kiel in the Koken. Tara Benson Carroll. Michael Brady. Laura Butvik. Kathy Burns. Jared Cannon. Chris Carpenter. Chloe Clinton. Carol Comer. Jessica Connell. Catherine Cardoff. Sorsha Darcy Carr. Connor Deary. Leanne Early. Sorsha Egan. Rachel Gilroy. Julia Gregoruk. Michaela Hannan. Neve Hahi. <coughs> Carolina Horfatova. Jude Mary Uwara. Jessica Killeen. Madara Kulka. Daniels Kuzmans. Saiv Levy. Emma Loftus. Aoife Lines. Keelan McDermott. <coughs> Julia McCaig. Anifa Maluka. Brian May.
Catherine McCready Duffy. Katrina Mullins. Sonali Negpal. Megan Nash. Jack O'Donnell. Justine O'Meara. Sophie Oram. Adam Pavlak. Saba Rafiq. Mahida Rafiq. Lucy Riviere. Anya Ruan. Carolina Samosuk. Goran Sitovic. Malia Tracy. Ellen Trainer. And Justin Jet Yan. Can the class now please stand for the round of applause? Higher Certificate in Science in Chemical and Pharmaceutical Science, <clears throat> Greta Ogo Levice in, in absentia. Moving on to our Bachelor of Science in Chemical and Pharmaceutical Science, and just today we mark the conferring of Alex Burke's degree, and Alex's degree is being collected by siblings Emily and Harvey Burke. Falasad Air Avelino Osagba in absentia Lauren Burke in absentia Gavin Downey in absentia Ruth Mateta in absentia Aaron McLaughlin. Michelle Rice in absentia. Skirmante Sakut in absentia. 
Arwen Sefi in, in absentia, L. Whelan in absentia, Lee Wilson in absentia. Can the class please stand for their round of applause? Bachelor of Science Honours in Chemical and Pharmaceutical Science. Anisha Abdalla in absentia. Mariam Afsal. Roy Araguzu. L. Burns. Jerry Byrne. Kathleen Conroy. Kieran Devish Lines. Colin Doby. Declan Heffernan. James Jackson. Sean Kenny. Hyen Kem in absentia. Tammy Klinsman. Rory McDonough. Kirsty McFadden in absentia. Lucas Moraes. Benedict Mputu. <laughs> Rebecca Shobiwi. <laughs> Irina Sudar in absentia. Can the class now stand for a round of applause? <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Medical Science Studies, Mona Gillan. Can the class stand, or the students stand, for her round of applause? <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Medical Science, Amanda Arietta. Emer Carr. Morgan Carrick. Thank you. 
Maria Czeslikowska. Sinead Cullinan. Dermot Doherty. Blaheen Feely. Kate Griffin. Robin Kearns. Neve Keelhan. You win Kerr. Isabel Lavelle. Maria Macken. Dara Marcondes. Michelle Marinan. Cora Maxwell. Alwyn McInerney. Lauren McLaughlin. Kira McNamara. <clears throat> Melissa McTeague. Connor Mulcone. Rosary, Rosemary Nakoma. Rebecca O'Leary. Danielle O'Neill. Sodik Omoy Yayi. Victoria Sigorska. And Ying Wei Wow. Can the class please stand for their, for their applause? <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Forensic Science and Analysis. Katie Burke. Dara Bush. Valeria DeSanto. Leon Doringer. Shania Fernandez.
Bruno Kaczynski. Andrea Hendrick in absentia. Alan Her, Alana Her, apologies. Eris McAndrew. Lawrence Loyan. Sally Webb. Connor Whelan. Kim Williamson. Can the class now please stand for a round of applause? <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Quality for Industry, Renata Beniak. Shauna Broderick in absentia. Chris, Christina Dubos in absentia. Sharon Drury. Idel Dunnikan. Darius Dietzik. Linka Fibikova. Vanessa Fitzgerald. Francis Flannery. Patrice Fleming. Katarzyna Giza. Reach Graney. Claire Lynch. Shea McKenna in absentia. Sinead McLaughlin in absentia. Michelle Murray Shield. Lorraine O'Connor. Neve O'Connor. Vivian Ojewunmi. Carolyn Okoru. Michael Pine. Carmel Ralph. Avril Riley. Amanda Shachnessy.
Valeria Zelensova in absentia. Can the, class, can the class now stand, please, for a round of applause? <laughs> Bachelor of Science Honours in Quality for Industry, Maria Dumitrita Buchan. Louise Kern. Laura Garvey Trill. Siobhan Hughes in absentia. Claire Louise King. Hannah McCraner. <laughs> Katarzyna Merocek. Katarzyna Rakowska. Lezek Stelmak in absentia. Raquel Bailadangos, in absentia. <laughs> Can the class now stand for a round of applause? Higher Diploma in Science and Advanced Analytical Chemistry. Martin Brown in absentia. Mark Chalk in absentia. Nicholas Donan in absentia. Daniel McDonough in absentia. And Connor O'Donoghue in absentia. Can I have a round of applause for the graduates? Higher Diploma in Science in Medical Technology Regulatory Affairs, Neve Day, in absentia, Stephanie Devine, in absentia, Alicia Dodd, in absentia, Sinead Fitzgerald, in absentia, Carolise Jan Suvicius, Sybil John in absentia, Hazel Kilkelly in absentia, Maria Trace Maher, Patricia Martin in absentia, Bereni Mateus. Owen McAvoy. Precious Molif. Sonia Moreno Perez in absentia. Katrina McDonald. Katrina Donald in absentia. Bridge O'Brien. Neve O'Driscoll in absentia. Marcia Regina Pedroso in, as, in absentia. Marie Shoiga in absentia. Aoife Ward.
can I ask the class now to stand, please, for a round of applause. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Advanced Biopharmaceutical Science, Sarah Ainsworth. Kieran Forkin in absentia. Chloe McAleer. John Mulhern. And Pu Wang in absentia. Can I ask the class to please stand for a round of applause? I call on Dr. Des Foley, Head of School of, Eng of Science and Engineering, to call up the winner of the Academic Achievement Award for the Department of Analytical, Biopharmaceutical and Medical Sciences, and Dr. Billy Bennett, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registrar, with Dr. Michael Hannan, Head of College, to present the graduate with their award. I present to you the following graduate who has achieved the highest academic excellence within the Department of Analytical, Biopharmaceutical and Medical Sciences. The recipient of the ATU Academic Achievement Award is for the Bachelor of Science Honours in Forensic Science and Analysis, Leon Doringer. Congratulations to all our graduates. Please move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations, all. Irimer Dr. Orla Flynn, on Uktra and Kreeka Kurlesh on Akedsha. I ask Dr. Orla Flynn, our president, to make the closing address. Mwyr Cahar na Galeva, a Gwini Uishla agus a Cardi Galeir, is mwyr na Nordom dhe an Seo ar Majan, agus ve e Cahar Falsha Criúl Roiv Galeir, nac untak an Lai Eniov agus Cogar da Speciel to Lennar Gameha ar Fad. I want to extend a virtual welcome to all who are viewing with us online from around the world, but an especially warm welcome to those of you with us here today, our graduates, your families and your friends. Welcome also to ATU colleagues, to our members of our governing body, and our very special guests, and of course the Mayor of, of Galway, Councillor Clodagh Higgins. The main purpose of our graduation ceremony is to publicly recognize and celebrate your achievements. And on behalf of us all in Atlantic Technological University, I want you to congratulate you on completing your course of study with us. And it is timely to take a moment to reflect on the significance of what you have actually achieved. And I want you to remember that only a small percentage of the world's population, less than 7%, have college degrees. You are all now among that small group and you not only can, but must make a difference. All of us in ATU look forward to the contributions that you will make 
in Irish and perhaps global society as you embark on your life and career journey. We in ATU are confident that you have acquired the knowledge, skills and competencies to be successful. You should be proud of your efforts as indeed we are. And it was lovely to be able to present you with your parchments here today, especially after the last difficult few years of the pandemic. We have spoken much this morning of how proud we are of you, and we've been clapping you there all morning, but you would not be here today without the support of many others, your families, your friends, and I'd like to invite you now, our graduates, to perhaps give a round of applause for those who have supported you in these last few years. Today's graduation ceremony also allows us an opportunity to look at how our own organization has grown and changed alongside you, especially over the last 12 months. In April, we were designated a technological university, Atlantic Technological University, marking over a decade of hard work by many people. People who had the vision to imagine what we could become and who saw the clear need for us to evolve to better serve the needs of the region. And I know this resonates with the earlier words of our Cahirlik around the critical role that we can and must play in the west and northwestern region of this island. You are among over 5,000 graduates receiving parchments from us over the month of November. And I really hope that you stay in touch with us in ATU and remember that you are now part of a very large community of ATU alumni. Community for us is more than just a word. It's a philosophy, and it's a philosophy that will keep us going through good days and bad. And coming together as a single, sustainable and resilient community will be a core focus for us in ATU in the months and years ahead. And to conclude today, I want to thank our musicians and to those who have assisted in any way today, and special thanks to our ATU conferring team, who have worked so hard together as one team across our one university to develop our graduation ceremony, and I truly hope it was meaningful for everybody here today. Thank you all. Our ceremony is almost over. There's just a few small bits of housekeeping. Um, I'd like to draw your attention to the students. There was a card on your chair, and that's if you wish to get a copy of your moment of conferring photograph, so you can take that with you today. I'd very much like to thank the Mayor of the City of Galway, Councillor Claude Higgins, for honouring us with her presence here today at the first ATU Galway ceremony for 2022. It was an honour, and we're very grateful for that. Can I ask the Academic Achievement Award winner to go to the back of the room where there'll be some photographs? For the other students, there's also photography in the veranda lounge where you can get photographs taken with your family. Please feel free to use that. I would like to join me in, uh, sorry, I would like you to join me in thanking the musicians, Soundpost Ensemble, who provided wonderful music here today. I'd like you to offer them a round of applause, please. We wish all of you graduates, families, and friends a wonderful day. Most importantly, there's a cup of tea, some refreshments out in the foyer. We'd very much like to join you there in celebrating today, so if you'd like to make your way through there in a moment. Can I request that the audience stand while the conferring party, the academic staff, and special guests leave the hall? Please all rise. <laughs> 